Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Tech Conversations. I am your host Guillermo. It is April 17th. Hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Just a reminder, we will be doing a giveaway once we reach 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter that giveaway, all you need to do is hit the like button down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite stock in the stock market is right now. Now in today's video, I wanna talk about a very powerful strategy with a high probability of success if implemented correctly. So I'll show you guys an example of how to set this up and we'll talk about what the pros and cons are. Let me know in the comment section below if you prefer to buy or sell options. So what are what is our goal from this strategy? So our goal from this strategy will be to profit from a stock price that goes high up or high down. In other words, we want a high volatile stock, a stock with high volatility, stock that has big price swings. And the fun thing here is that it doesn't matter if it's up or if it's down, because we're gonna benefit either way. We just wanna find a stock that's more volatile that usually is not gonna just trade sideways. Uh, so for this video, and this is just an example, I'm gonna use Facebook um, just because, uh, you know, Facebook has earnings coming up and with earnings, you know, you see stocks kind of have big price swings and a lot of the times we really don't know which way. So I'm just gonna use Facebook again, this is just an example. And so make sure you've enabled trading options in your settings and then you can go over to the options for this stock. So here we are on the options for Facebook. So what this strategy will consist of is we're gonna have four different call options with the same expiration date. So remember your expiration date is up here. And the strike prices are gonna be equidistant. They're gonna have the same distance from each other. And I'm gonna show you here an example and explain all of that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is we're gonna to want to identify a range in which we believe this stock will not be in by the expiration date. So the first question I'd ask myself here is, what price range do I think Facebook will not be between by on April 23rd, which is when these contracts will expire? So let's say I don't think uh, Facebook, which is at $306 right now, will be between 305 and 307.50 on expiration date. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I think Facebook's either gonna swing up a lot, it's gonna swing down a lot. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start. So what we're gonna first do here is we're gonna buy calls at those two prices where we've made this price range. So I'm gonna buy a call at the 305 strike here. This is gonna cost me $5.20 per share. Remember each contract controls 100 shares. This is gonna cost me $520. Then I'm also gonna buy this call here at the 307.50 strike. It's gonna cost me $4 per share, $400 for the contract. And again, I'm buying these two because I don't think on expiration, Facebook will be between 305 and 307.50. It'll either be above 307.50 or down below 305. So, so far, we're buying two call options. It's gonna cost us $920. Well, now we're gonna do, uh, remember, we need four different call options here. So now we're gonna sell two calls. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these strike prices need to be equidistant. They need to have the same distance away from each other. And so since the ones we are buying here have a 250 distance from each other. The calls that we sell here need to also have that same distance from these two. We're gonna sell a call up here above the 307.50 strike, and then we're gonna sell a call down here below the 305 strike. And again, since the distance between these two is 250, the distance between these two needs to be 250. So I need to sell this 302.50 call here. Similarly up here, uh, the distance between these two is 250, so I need to sell this one, right? Now we have four contracts here, they all have the same expiration, and they're all equidistant from each other, right? This one's between this one and this one is 250, between these two is 250, and between these two is 250. So this is called the short condor spread with calls. As you can see, we're gonna receive a credit here. And so, uh, this is a more advanced strategy because again, there's four different strike prices. Uh, if you're not using Robinhood, there's gonna be multiple commissions. Robinhood doesn't have commissions, but other brokers do. Uh, so it's important to trade a condor like this at acceptable risk to reward ratios. 
And so the cool thing about this is that, of course, our profit is well defined and our risk is well defined. So if we continue here, uh, we can say, hey, we want one of these. We're going to receive a credit of about $96. So our profit here is defined. It's going to be the net credit that we're receiving. We're receiving $96 for this short condor spread. That's our max potential profit. Our max risk also is defined, and we can figure that out very quickly here. So the max risk, or first of all, let's talk about the collateral, of course. Anytime that you're receiving a credit, you have to put up some collateral. So we do need to put up collateral here, $250. If you want to figure out what the collateral is going to be very quickly, all you need to do is basically find the difference between any two adjacent strikes here. So for example, these two are adjacent here, 305 minus 30250, that's 250. That's gonna be the collateral that we put up. Now to find our max risk, we take that collateral or that difference here, we subtract our credit that we're receiving, which is our max profit, and then we get our max loss. So our max potential loss or risk here is 250 minus 96 or $154. So we're basically risking $154 to potentially make $96. That may sound like a lot, but again, we'll see that there's a high probability of success here because there's a lot more, uh, there's a bigger chance that you'll land somewhere where it's green versus where it's red. Again, especially if you're choosing a highly volatile stock. So that's how you set it up here, guys. Uh, but let's actually take a look at what this trade will look like. Let's actually visually see what our losses or profits can be depending on what the price of Facebook is, depending on what date it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to the options profit calculator and we're actually going to visually see what this trade looks like. So again, this involves four legs here. I'll just go to the custom one. And then, of course, we'll get into our symbol here. So again, we're using Facebook FB. We'll get the price here. And then we're going to set up the exact same trade that we just set up. So I'm going to start by selling or writing the call with the lowest strike. So again, make sure your expiration date is correct. April 23rd, we chose the 30250 strike, which is right here. Again, calls are on the left, puts are on the right. Be very careful with that. So 30250 is right there. Then we're going to buy our call at the next higher strike here. So again, make sure expiration date is correct. Calls are on the left. We're going to buy the 305 strike call right there. And then we're going to buy another call uh, with a higher strike for this one again. Uh, April 23rd, same expiration. Calls are on the left. We chose the 30750 strike. And then lastly, we're going to sell or write the highest strike call here. It's 23rd of April, same expiration. Calls are on the left. We chose the 310 strike. So right there. And then I'm going to make the stock price range. Uh, go from 295 to we'll say 315. Uh, yeah, we'll say 315 for now. So let's calculate this. Let's see what this actually looks like. So here's what it looks like. And let's just focus on this up here. So again, the exact same thing that we just saw in Robinhood. This is going to be a credit. We're going to receive $96 when we enter the short condor spread. Our max risk, we figured that out. That's going to be what our collateral is minus how much we're getting paid. 250 minus 96, 154 dollars, uh, and then our max return, of course, 96 dollars, and then we get our break-even points as well. So again, you're risking 154 to make 96 dollars. That's not as high of a return as we've seen with some other strategies that we've talked about. But as you can see, there's a lot more chance that you'll have green, right? Because look at everywhere where you can see green here a lot more than what we're seeing red. And again, we're only gonna be in the red if this stock trades sideways. Again, it's very important that you find a stock that's highly volatile with high price, uh, huge uh, price swings. And again, doesn't matter if it's up, if it's down, both ways we're gonna make money. So let's actually talk about what happens here on expiration date. So again, if it lands on 30904 from what we see here, we're gonna break even. We didn't make any money, we didn't lose any money. Now let's go a little bit higher. If it lands between 30904 and 310, which is the highest strike here, we're gonna make some money, somewhere between zero and $96. Uh, and this is on expiration date. If on expiration date, it's at 310 or above, we're gonna make our max uh, profit, $96. Now let's go down here. If on expiration, it's at 30346, we're breaking even. If it's between 30346 or 30250, which is our lowest strike, we're going to make again some money somewhere between zero and $96. 
And finally, if on expiration it's at 302.50 or below, we're making our max profit of $96. Now, uh, let's go between there. So if we're between 303.46 and 305, we're gonna lose some money on expiration, somewhere between zero and $154. If we're between 302.50, or not, not 302 50, 305.00 and 307.50, that's where we're gonna lose our max profit, which is or max risk here, which is $154. Uh, if we go up here, if we're between 309.04 and 307.50, we're gonna lose some of our money, so somewhere between zero and $154. And again, finally, if we're between uh, 307.50 and 305, that's where we're gonna end up losing again our max potential uh, risk here, which is $154. And we can see that here on the chart. So anyways, guys, uh, that is the condor spread there and how it would look like. Now, the other thing I want to mention, of course, is closing out the condor. I actually made a video not too long ago where I showed you where you can close out of any trade, whether it's the condor or butterfly uh, regular spread. So I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Uh, but the other thing, of course, is uh, assignment, right? And I've mentioned this too before. I made a video on this. I'll also put that in the description below. Anytime there is a short option involved, anytime you sell or write an option, there is risk of assignment. And then, you know, sometimes you can get assigned even if it doesn't make sense. Uh, and more specifically, there's always risk of early assignment on, on stocks with dividends. So generally, that's going to be related to dividends. Short calls that are assigned early are generally assigned on the day before the X dividend date. So if you're using this strategy on a stock that has a dividend, you should always be checking when the X dividend date is. If the X dividend date falls on that week, you probably want to avoid opening a position uh, on that week to avoid early assignment. Um, you know, or of course you can also close out about two days prior to the X dividend date because again, you just want to avoid being early assigned. So again, assignment is always a possibility anytime you're selling options. That's definitely one thing you should know uh, and be aware of when you enter a position like this. So anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.